If you recall, back at the launch of the Mach-E, Ford revealed a one-off prototype called the Mach-E 1400 because, you know, 1400 horsepower? It was a septuple motor all-wheel drive setup. That's seven motors, three motors feeding into the front mechanical differential, four motors feeding into the rear differential. That's a really weird drivetrain layout, but as you'll see, things have evolved since then. The ground effects package is said to deliver over 2,000 pounds of downforce for this beast. That's a lot, but not enough to prevent some epic drifting. Earlier this year in 2025, Ford joined other NASCAR competitors in unveiling an all-electric prototype. The various manufacturers collaborated with NASCAR around a similar set of specification. Battery gets a little larger to enable, you know, more laps around the oval. It's a more familiar tri-motor setup. I mean, you know, familiar for ultra-high performance EVs. Ford's prototype and Chevrolet's both use six-phase electric motors. Production EVs typically use a three-phase AC motor to deliver instantaneous, efficient power delivery. Six-phase motors are used in a very few heavy-duty EV applications to deliver even more power, and that's what NASCAR chose to mess around with. In 2023, Ford came out with an updated version of their Supervan prototype. The 4.2 version was to take on the Pikes Peak Hill Climb. They worked with Starred Advanced Research and Development to bring it together. The next year, in 2024, they made some improvements, similar power from the tri-motor, but notably changed the body to reflect the F-150 Lightning to take on the hill race. Orange cables represent the high voltage line coming from the batteries to each of the two rear electric motors. The battery is immersion cooled. That's a trick used in select high performance and extreme EV applications where a non-conductive fluid runs through the battery pack, coming in direct contact with the cells. I did a video with Chrysler Electric that explains that technology. For 2025, they decided to go small or go home following in the shadow of the super van and super truck is the super mach e same 50 kilowatt hour liquid cooled battery same tri-motor with about 1400 horsepower regenerative braking capability is up to 710 kilowatts while weight is down for the smaller vehicle down 260 pounds for this 800 volt hill topper despite being small the super mach e generates more downforce than last year's super truck thanks to that amazing front splitter and massive rear wing. The fastest car ever to climb Pikes Peak was the Volkswagen IDR, fastest car regardless of powertrain. In 2018, it was driven by, oh look, Romain Dumas, the same driver Ford has been using for the last three years. It seems like the specs and the driver are there to break the record, We'll have to wait until June 22nd to find out.